Good morning, this is Gloria Brooks, founder of Nature Glows East Science. So here I am with my caravan, still here in Ehrenberg, Arizona. And we are actually along the Colorado River. I'll show you that in a few minutes. So this morning, my goal is to find an American coot. They're all over the place. They're the most common water bird here. So let's go ahead and see if I can find one on this morning's nature walk. Here we are at the Colorado River, but I'm going to point the camera around where there's a closer view of some coots swimming. See them there? Having a delightful morning swim. This is awesome, getting out in nature and observing what's going on. Ooh, little scuffle there. This is great activity. So the American coot is part of a water bird group called Gala or Gruiformes, which includes rails, which are very secretive water birds as well. Cranes, they are closely related to the sand crane. So pretty awesome. And crakes, I think, are also in this group. Here's another beautiful group shot of them. There one just took a running, a run across the river. They're very famous for doing that. Okay, so we've already observed the American coot at the Colorado River. We even had some squabbling activity and we also saw one of them running across the surface of the river pretty awesome footage there so we're getting closer to the beach now okay so here we are at the beach so it's just this little inlet and look I see a coot already in the distance see it swimming over there going to be quiet so we can observe its activity. Okay, so it's not the most fantastic footage. The coot is staying by the shade of those shrubs across the inlet. And I believe these are coot prints. Coot tracks. While we're here, let's just admire the beauty of the Colorado River Inlet here, starting with this beautiful sun flash in the water. Here, someone did some rock art. Okay, so I've been waiting to get a closer shot of a coot. Here we are at sunset, Christmas Day. Finally, there's a coot. And it's swimming almost towards us.
Welcome to Nature Glow's eScience virtual classroom. I'm going to share a few resources for you homeschool and road school families so that you can consider doing a mini unit study about the American coot or coots of the world. Now I mentioned earlier in my video that there are, or maybe I didn't, there are actually 11 species of coots worldwide. Um, including the American coot, Eurasian coot, and we'll look at the other species shortly. But here you can see the duck-like water birds, which include cranes, rails, and coots. And there's the European coot. The American coot's not pictured here on this drawing. Um, but we have a really great web resource called Beauty of Birds Coots. So let's go ahead and navigate there briefly and just do a, a short overview. So I chose this resource to share with you because actually if you scroll down it has really fantastic photographs of different coot species around the world. And here we have the different species list. So we have the red knobbed coot from Africa, Eurasian coot or common coot, the Hawaiian coot, Aleo Ke -oke -o. I'm not sure if I'm saying that correctly. I guess that's how they say that in Hawaiian. The American coot, of course, the star of our show. Caribbean, white-winged, slate-colored, red-gartered, red-fronted giant, horned and masquerine coot. We have Chatham Island coot, which um, is prehistoric. Um, so these, these species are actually extinct. But check out this crested coot with this interesting red knob. They actually have two red knobs. Here's a, a view of the red knobbed coot. All right, so really fascinating information there. And you can actually click through and look at all the different species. And same here, I'm not going to look at that one, but it's another bird's eye view, quote unquote, where you can see all the different species of coots from around the world. Um, although I don't think that one is as thorough as this one. Now, Audubon is, it's almost like a, well, it is actually an online field guide. This is a really fantastic resource for um, homeschoolers. So here we have a beautiful uh, coot there. It's the American coots. They also have a little red um, marking on the top of their head although I couldn't really see it from the videos today because we, were, we didn't get very good close-ups of them. All right, I'm not going to read through this, but here you can see their geographic range. They go right up into Canada. Um, also, the islands, which aren't pictured here. Uh, there's another map where we see um, more of their distribution, which isn't covered in this one. Okay, so then we have American Coot in the news. So really great resources. I have a podcast for you right here. This is a fun listen. So here it is. It's called American Coot's Rafts of Them. So you just hit the play button there. You can also download it, listen to it from iTunes. We have Cornell Lab, which is a, another fantastic online field guide. And it gives you little tabs here so you can learn to identify them according to these um, different, according to their size and shape, color pattern, their behavior. We have life history, more information about their habitat, food, nesting, behavior. And they are of least concern as far as conservation is concerned. They're an extremely common bird. Also, there's a more detailed map than we saw, saw with Audubon. So they go down right into Central America and also the Caribbean islands. And then it gives you a seasonal legend here of what time of year um, they are found. So, Currently, it's winter here. It's December 2017. I'm, in, I'm at the border of Arizona and California, and they are here year-round, um, which is surprising because it can get to 130 degrees 
down here in the southwestern desert of the United States. So I wonder about that, if they migrate, maybe they, yeah, <laughs> just seems too hot for, for any animal that time of year, but they have their ways of coping and they're in the water, so they probably stay in the shade, I would imagine. Okay, so that's really an awesome resource. And we have projects and activities, American Coot Sound. So this brings us back to Cornell Lab of Ornithology. And I really strongly encourage you to listen to their different sounds. Let's, let's, let's listen to one call together. Here we go. Calls and brief calls. All right, recognition calls of a female. Interesting sound there. All right, I won't go through all of them, but there's plenty here for, for you to listen to. There's also a video about uh, young American coot chicks, which I have another really fantastic video on the website as well. We have several downloads. So if, depending on how much time you want to put into this unit study, we have American Cooter Mud Hen. Their nickname is Mud Hen, or Mud Hens. So this download allows you to label. Let's just take a brief look at this. Okay, so you can actually color and then use these labels down here, study the labels and then add them to the coloring page here. All right, and then I won't click through these, but there's some other coloring pages. You can use them in a lap book or journal, use them as for a lap book or journal templates, cut them out and paste them to your media of choice. And a literature, some literature connections. We have Project Gutenberg, which gives us an 1800s children's book uh, called Child's Book of Water Birds. And so this is really a great free resource. And I'll read the little section about the coots. So these are all different water, water birds, the swan, Here's the coot. So it's a very short read. So the coot is generally found in large sheets of water. <laughs> Do we use the word sheets to describe water these days? You can tell it's old. So it's generally found in large sheets of water, particularly if shaded by trees, which we saw in my video today. The coot preferred the shade, the shady part of the water, quite a distance from my camera. <laughs> at the inlet, we couldn't quite see it. The nest is a mass of flags, reeds, and grass, usually at the water's edge, but sometimes actually in the water. The coot's eggs are generally seven in number. They are of a greenish white, spotted, the coot. All right, they also have one called the dab chick, the teal, the goose, the oyster catcher, so I invite you to check out the rest of those as well. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and read this poem to end our virtual classroom time together. It's called The Coot by Mary Howitt. She was a 19th century English children's writer. The Coot by Mary Howitt. O Coot, O bold, adventurous Coot, I pray thee tell me. The perils of that stormy line that bore thee to the sea. I saw thee on the river fewer within thy sedgy screen. Around thee grew the bulrush tall and reeds so strong and green. The kingfisher came back again to view thy fairy place. The stately swan sailed statelier by as if thy home to grace. Cut soon the mountain flood came down and bowed the bulrush strong. And far above those tall green reeds, the waters poured along. And where is the water coot? I cried, that creature good. But then I saw thee in thine ark, 
regardless of the flood. Amid the foaming wave thou satst and steeredst thy little boat, thy nest of rush and water reed so bravely set afloat, and on it went and safely on that wild and stormy tide, and there thou satst a mother bird, thy young ones at thy bide. O coot, O bold, adventurous coot, I pray thee tell to me the perils of that stormy voyage that bore thee to the sea. Hast thou no fear as night came down upon thy watery way of enemies and dangers dire that round about thee lay? Didst thou not see the falcon grim swoop down as thou passed by, and monks and among the waving water flags the lurking otter lie. The eagle's scream came wildly near, yet caused it no alarm. Nor man who seeing thee weak thing did strive to do thee harm. And down the foaming waterfall, as thou wast borne along, hast thou no dread, O daring bird, thou hadst a spirit strong. Yes, thou hadst fear, but he who sees the sparrows when they fall, he saw thee, bird, and gave thee strength to brave thy perils all. He kept thy little ark afloat. He watched o'er thine and thee, and safely through the foaming flood hath brought thee to the sea. Okay, so that was the coot by Mary Howitt. All right, and then finally we come to these videos. This one's a really fantastic watch here. It's called the American Coot, and it takes place in Florida. Really fabulous footage that I don't have the camera capabilities at this time to capture. Uh, really professionally done. I strongly suggest watching that. And then finally, you can have a look at the American Coot Chicks, which are bareheaded, red bare heads they have. Very interesting to look at. And to access the resources I just showed you, just scroll down beneath this video and you will see a link to the website with all of the different links I just showed you. So enjoy that resource. And thank you for watching Nature Glows eScience today. Please subscribe. Give us a thumbs up, and we'll just sign off here, say goodbye with the coot leaving the picture. Bye now. See you next Nature Walk.